Hi there everyone, my name is Emily Brown, and a while ago I asked my career mentorship class a question that I was inspired to ask by a person named Ashley Wilde. Now my question was simple, what do you love? Some of the more soft-hearted people said things like my family or my friends, some went for a more tasteful answer like cake, others went for Dave and James Franco, and I agree, I love them too. Now I know what you're thinking, what's the point? My point is that I can guarantee None of my classmates said one of the most important things to love, which is, I love myself. Kristen Chenoweth once said, if you learn to love yourself and all the flaws, you can love other people so much better. And that makes you so happy. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to be happy. But to be happy, you have to learn to accept yourself. And that takes time and hard work. It's like climbing an enormous mountain. And climbing a mountain has many steps like actually getting off your butt and starting to climb. And then once you start climbing and you see how high that mountain really is, don't get scared and give up. Keep going. The hike up to acceptance and love for yourself has stubborn obstacles that are determined for you to never reach the top. But if you push past that and beat the odds, reaching the tip top of the mountain, I promise you, you will look down and see a past you, an insecure person always in doubt of themselves. You will see how beautiful it is way up in the sky. But to get there, you have to start climbing. In the beginning of the hike, you need to surround yourself with people that will help you on your journey, not people that will throw sticks and stones that will drag you down. Surround yourself with only the best for you. Next step, did you know that more than 90% of girls ages 15 to 17 want to change at least one aspect of their physical appearance with body weight ranking the highest? Okay, I'll let you in on a hot tip. If you want to love yourself, you got to love everything, including the way you look. This is a step that I've always struggled with because I'm insecure about my body weight. Now, I've been in dance for 13 years, and many don't realize how hard the life of a dancer can be. In my dance studio, in our ballet class, our dress code is a little bodysuit, white tights, and ballet shoes. In an outfit like that, it's very easy to become insecure. I would watch myself dancing in the mirrors and suddenly start to compare myself with those around me. Because, well, my body type is not the typical ballerina that everybody sees on TV. For so long, it's been hard for me to constantly see myself in those mirrors. I had hardly any confidence in myself, and my dancing suffered because of that. I started falling behind, continually messing up, and becoming frustrated. Finally, one afternoon, about two years ago, I had hit my breaking point. I was trying to get this certain step in class, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it right. Everything from my dancing to my own insecurities just came together and hit me like a brick wall, and I couldn't take it anymore. I left the class with tears streaming down my face, and I ran into the change room. Finally, after a while, my dance teacher and a friend's mom came in to help calm me down, and they really helped me out. That day, I realized something that I will never forget. I never wanted to feel that bad about myself ever again. I didn't want to be that upset over a simple turn I couldn't hit or because I didn't look the exact same size as some of my friends. So two years ago, I started climbing. Over the years, I've begun to take more steps to learn and love myself and all my flaws. And today, I feel so much better. And I know I'm not at the top of that mountain yet, but I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong, I still have those days where those darn sticks and stones bring me down. But I've got my friends and family to catch me when I fall. Trust me. Making your way up that mountain and trying to learn to love yourself is so much better than just staying on the ground. I'm climbing that mountain and I hope this inspires you to climb it with me. It's going to be hard and it's going to take a long time, but if you surround yourself with people who care about you and you have the determination to keep going, you will reach the top and you will be a champion.